to cry right now like oh my god I'm so freaking frustrated and I'm mad and angry sad like everything like <laughs> so I'm pretty much here at the house I'm the only one here everything's pretty much gone it's a big mess I freaking slept on this floor right here <sighs> all because I'm waiting for Munchie to come to land in Houston so we didn't know that TG was going to get the job in Austin. That's why she booked to Houston. And then we're supposed to drive over from Houston to Austin when she comes here. So that's why I'm here by myself. And whoever, whatever airline she booked with, they're fucking stupid. Oh! So pretty much she booked her flight. She got through customs and everything. She goes to the kiosk and they're like, oh, you don't have a seat on this plane. Which makes no freaking sense because she paid her money to get on this flight. She went through customs. Like, how is she even going through customs if she doesn't have a seat on the plane? That makes no freaking sense. So they said, oh, you can only get on the plane if um, people don't come on their flight or whatever. So she waited and waited and then three people ended up coming last minute and there was no other space for her on the plane which makes no freaking sense to me because she bought her plane ticket she should have a seat so they're like oh maybe you can get on the 8 p.m flight but the airlines overbooked that flight too for three other people i'm like what the hell is wrong with this airline it's like i need to know what airline this is i think it's american or um hold on what airlines is this now like this is actually so freaking ridiculous she's like i'm over it i'm like hopefully they didn't send your bags to houston because if they can't even get you there why are they sending your bags like my whole freaking new year's everything is just ruined this whole day is freaking ruined for me right now because tg is already in austin he left from like seven o'clock this morning um and i'm here so it's like he's gonna have to come all the way back if she can't even make it and come pick me up and then we are gonna have to drive all the way back there and it's just so freaking ridiculous inconvenient inconvenient and i'm just so upset because i really want to spend new year's or whatever and these couple of days with my best friend like i'm like i want to cry right now like i really want to cry i really want to cry oh my god and the crazy thing is, is that like, we've been having trouble with this, this this whole flight thing from the very beginning, like trying to find a cheap flight. And then I booked the flight, but then I added something onto it. And then we had to take it off. It was like all these crazy things that were happening. And then now this happened. So it's like, it's, is it really not meant to be for her to come here? Like, I don't, I don't know. But it's, it's still frustrating because we both wanted her down here, me and TG, and she wanted to be here too. Like, I'm just, I don't even know what to do right now. I don't know what to do and I just like I feel horrible because she wasted her money and if she doesn't get it back this is bullshit bullshit and we even got a rental she doesn't know about the rental now and then I'm like are you for sure getting on the 8 p.m. she's like I doubt it and she's like they booked they overbooked again and I'm like I'm freaking done you need to get your money back like this I'm just so upset right now, like, I'm so upset. So it's it says, like, on the ticket, it says, sorry, on the flight itinerary, it says United Airlines operated by Air Canada. So I don't know what that means. But anyways, now, so the lady who was supposed to rebook my ticket, she's like, how she can't release, oh, wait, she can't even book me in because technically I'm still with United. So now I have to wait for a United a representative from United Airlines to come down so that they could release my ticket and then Air Canada could book me on to the to the eight o'clock flight. And she's like, even the eight o'clock flight is full and she's like, you it will probably be the same thing. It'll be on standby eight for the eight o'clock eight fifty it's not even eight o'clock. It's eight fifty five. Eight fucking fifty five flight. So she's like you'll be on standby for that flight and then 
if, if nobody arrives, then I'll be able to get on. Same shit. Basically, all the flights are booked. They show that they're booked, but it's only if people don't show up, then that's when I can get on. But right now, she's like, I can't even book you on because you, your, techni- your ticket is techni- technically with Air- um, United. I'm going to, like, blow up this fucking this is so fucking ridiculous like did they did you buy a standby ticket no you did not you bought a direct flight all the way to houston like they should be giving you money or something like this is absolutely crazy like if you can get your money and just go back home or something because it doesn't seem like you're coming to houston today and when the air canada people come see if they can get you to austin and then tg will just come pick me up from here because right now i don't know what to say like I, I seriously want to cry like honestly i've flown so much especially all the times i come to houston and i never ever pick a seat because it costs money to pick a seat so i don't know how and why they're overbooking people if somebody pays their money to go somewhere the seat should automatically be reserved doesn't matter where the seat is at the front the back doesn't matter why are they freaking overbooking people and just ruining people's plans, ruining people's whole entire day. Because if she does not get on this flight, what are they going to do to compensate her? Because she paid her money. Like, I'm... S- mm-hmm. Okay, guys, so we just got an update. Sorry, I'm looking, like, all crazy. Obviously, I'm feeling better now because Munchie is making it. She's coming. However, it's not... It's going to be really late. She um, is going to make it on the the 855 flight so she won't be here until like 11 30 that sucks but it is what it is as long as she's getting here like i'm happy about that so i don't know we're gonna have to ride to austin after which is gonna be two hours so by the time we get there it's probably gonna be like 1 30 2 o'clock 1 o'clock i don't know somewhere around there so she's like we're just gonna have to turn up in the house or something i don't know we're gonna do something but like it's just so unfortunate like really like why did this have to happen we had so many plans just so many things that we wanted to do and it's just not gonna happen but yo i feel like i'm in a trap house right now literally dirty everywhere um just shit everywhere like look at this if you guys are wondering why the place is so dirty why we left it like this and why is it why it's like this um tg's gonna have uh, somebody come here and clean everything up pretty much everything that's left over here except for this mirror and things I'm gonna put in this box um, is going to going in the garbage pretty much so yeah I don't know what he's gonna do with these washers and dryers because he got those from his mom he said he's gonna try to sell them so we're gonna be here back on the 5th to um, drop Munchy back at the airport in Houston so hopefully he can like figure out what he's gonna do with that maybe he could sell it or something but right now I ordered Uber Eats to make me feel so much better. I got chilies. I know you guys are hating me because I be eating chilies too much, but I got chilies. I got the pasta and a salad. So that's gonna hold me over until Munchie gets here. And I should be good after that. It's like very gloomy outside, it's raining. I'm just here watching um, videos. I'm so happy that um, the Wi-Fi is still working here because I don't know what I would do without the Wi-Fi literally so he actually got the wi-fi and the cable set up in austin as well so there's wi-fi here wi-fi here but he said that this one will connect tomorrow so i mean will disconnect so like i'm so happy like i can do whatever i want on the internet right now like if i didn't have that i would literally die like die <laughs> so i'm just watching youtube videos i'm waiting for my food to come and yeah laying on the floor this is where i slept i like we finished packing everything probably about four five five o'clock and i slept literally right here on the floor yeah trap life <laughs> i'm joking but um yeah i'm just i'm obviously you can see i'm in better spirits now because my bestie's coming i'm so excited too bad all the girls couldn't come but i wouldn't want them to be in the situation that she's in right now so pretty much they're saying that because it's holidays that airlines try always overbook so they know that people are gonna miss their flights or they know that people probably might miss their flights so they usually overbook just in case which i think is bullshit because there can be like three four people who don't who end up not having a flight so they said that she should have um bought her seat but literally i never buy my seats ever like they always say you can buy um your seat for an additional price but i literally don't do that because i don't care where i'm sitting on the plane as long as i get to my destination so 
that's what they're saying that she should have done but literally the um the airline should have not overbooked people overbooked tickets but it is what it is they she said that um the one of the ladies had to do something that she's gonna get in trouble for but i don't give a f i don't give a flying fig so i'm happy my girl's coming you guys will see her soon yes so i got me some food i'm so excited to eat this up it's gonna taste so bomb and I'm gonna start off with my salad. This is the, I don't remember what type of salad it is, but I'm excited. Hey guys, so I am still in the trap house. As you can see, it's freaking dark outside. I think I'm literally gonna be spending New Year's here by myself, cause Munchie's not gonna get here probably till like 11.30. Well, that's when she'll like get off the plane, maybe, possibly, I don't know. And then it's gonna take her another, more time to get here. And then yeah, I'm gonna be in this trap house by myself. At least I got me a beer, so cheers to you guys. Cha-ching-ching. -ching. I'm literally still doing the same thing, watching videos. I really want to take a shower, but I can't even take a shower because I packed all the soap up and it's in Austin. I don't smell bad, but it's just like, I just feel like I need to like be free. I wanted to actually like kind of get, get ready, like feel good you know so i wanted to take a shower put on a little bit of makeup do something with my hair even though my hair is looking really really bad like i don't even think there's anything i can do to my hair except for put it up in a bun but can't do any of that so i'm stuck here i think i'm gonna go on like periscope or something and see if anybody's in the house like i am because literally i can't do anything it's so sad it's so sad like i don't even have human interaction right now it's really it's really sad <sighs> like my hair I don't know like I've been trying to do braid outs and twist outs for the past sorry if you guys can see all this mess sorry 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 but yeah I've been trying to do braid outs and twist outs for the past couple days I think it's because I don't have the right products but my hair is coming out so ugly like no definition or anything I just feel like when I'm down here my hair doesn't come out well. I don't know if it's the weather, the water, whatever it is. My hair just doesn't come out the way I want it to. It's so unfortunate. So that's why I just want, I really want to straighten it so I don't have to do shit to it. It can look good every day. Um, I let you guys know that Munchie is arriving. So yeah, she'll be here in the next couple of hours. And then we're going to drive to Austin. And then we're not mother effing sleeping. Nope, nope, nope. So guys, I ended up putting on a little bit of makeup just to make myself feel better put on did my eyebrows i was gonna stop on my eyebrows but then you know once you start putting on makeup you cannot stop my mustache is growing back so i had to put a little bit of orange color corrector on i had to put the orange color corrector on i couldn't go walking around like a oompa loompa so then i had to put on foundation and then i put on foundation i'm like okay now my face is really plain so i put on contour and it was contour without blush well that's where it ended oh yeah and then i had to put on powder to set everything so pretty much put on a lot of makeup well not really i didn't put on oh and then i was like damn like under my eyes look real sleepy right now so then i put on concealer so yeah i pretty much have a full face kind of not really because i put foundation on like only over here and then like two two and then just blended that all in. I hate putting foundation all over my face, especially my forehead. Like, do any of you guys feel like putting foundation on your forehead is just so weird? Because I feel like my forehead is darker than the rest of my my face. So it's like if I put it on here, it looks like cakey. It looks like I'm wearing like a mask or something. So that's why I avoid putting foundation on my face or well, on my forehead. Anyways, I'm talking too much. You guys are probably bored of seeing this freaking yellow ass background and me just sitting here all bored and by myself but i think i'm gonna go on periscope oh shit he forgot that he better bring that with him i can't pack that but he's gonna have to get it here on the fifth or something yeah anyways guys i'll see you guys when munchie gets here that's next time i vlog i promise i promise promise so guys guess what i'm finally finally with munchie crunch out waves look how she's driving Yo, it's, it's not okay. It's scary right now. She's driving and there's 
like literally fog. You can't even see we what's can't see next. Nothing. So she's driving like 45 right now. Yeah, you literally can't see anything. So she's being a cautious driver. Cautious, I just love my life. But Munchie, no. how was that flight and everything? And girl, okay, I can't, I can't do two things at once. <laughs> the flight, the flight, it was long. The whole experience was horrible. Yeah. Like, she got business class. I got business class, which is good, but I mean, I, like you're okay. This is just getting out of hand. <laughs> what the frick? She's not a good multitasker. I'm a good multitasker, but the road is cutting off into pieces that I've never seen before. <laughs> um, what? So yeah, no. I don't. It was just a horrible experience, you know. Like I expected to be down here for New Year's. Like I have all my outfits in my bag, my heels, everything ready to go. Just change up. And then to find out that I wasn't able to come on the flight was so like. Like tearing, and I was like, I was angry tearing, you know, like, what do you mean? Like, I paid my ticket, like, I need to get on this flight, like, that's not okay. Yeah, whatever. But uh, she's like, there's nothing we can do. You know, those late, those people, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> and then this next guy comes, sorry, ma'am, there's nothing we can do. I'm like, there's there needs to be something. They're like, do you want to leave tomorrow? I'm like, well, if I wanted to leave tomorrow, I would have selected tomorrow's date. <laughs> I want to leave today. I love when Munchie gets rude and so it's funny. funny. It's so they funny. Just, they just tested my love of my life. What is this happening? Yeah, so she ended up getting business class and she got a $200 voucher, which is so good, I think. Well, not so good. Still it's, inconvenient. It's, so, it's, But it's better than, yeah, I don't know. It's something. It's something. But, yeah, she said she was so, like, nervous and stuff that she ate four cookies. That she was saving, she was supposed to save for me and TG. I know, baked, freshly baked cookies, and I was like, man, I can't even do this. I'm so stressed out. Like, as, as they're telling me, oh, sorry, there's no flights, you're looking for flights, I'm just like eating the cookies. Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't comprehend what's happening. Um, but, yeah. So now we're just on the road to Austin. It's like 4 o'clock like a.m. We're probably not gonna get there until 5 o'clock. We're probably like an hour in, if anything. That's it? We have and, the, more and the way we're going 50 right now, we probably won't get there till 6 o'clock a.m. But this is serious. Like, there's no, there's no street lights, I know. and uh, there's nobody in front of me to help me. Just these little white jagged lines, and it's not enough. It's not enough. So yeah, we're just jamming out to little slow jams. That's why I love my sister because we both love slow jams. Same. You know, we don't need that turn up music to get through this long drive. <laughs> yesterday but we're here my two besties are here munchie and tg so you guys will see both of them in the next vlog love you guys it was a good night it was such a good night austin i love you yes texas <laughs> we love you go along <laughs>